day. Kevin and Robin here. I'm talking about one of our favorite subjects, French wine. French wine. And uh, a wine that we haven't, uh, I don't know if we featured these before, the, uh, the Seglia wines from uh, the Armandier line. I know. I don't think we have, and I don't really know why now that I have been sampling them again. Um, these wines are fantastic, and this is the first time we've ever had the white from them, and it has quickly moved to the top of my list as one of my favorites. I'm armed today. Thank so you. It's I'm cold. Ready to, uh, <laughs> oh, there you go. You've done your work. I appreciate yeah. that. So you want to tell everyone the story of uh, Armandier, and maybe uh, for those who don't understand the... Uh, you know, the uh, intricacies of French wine labeling mm. and wine law. We talk a little bit about Van de France and what that means and biodynamics and, you know, lots to chew Gosh, on here. There's so much that we could be talking about, but yeah. we'll uh, start at the basics. So uh, Francis de Seglio actually moved from Italy uh, back in the 1930s to France and then a couple short years later started making wine. Um, it wasn't until, I believe it was 1949 that he started making his own uh, product and labeling and then his son took over and then Stefan who's on the label now uh, took over at the young age of 22 from his father uh, back in 1999 and they started to move towards organics and now are officially biodynamic so this wine actually um, even goes so far as to check out like the natural wine category as well um, they do really min minimal intervention uh, make everything with tons of integrity and thought and really uh, focusing on the land to get the best quality from their grapes and bring us the best quality wine. Mouthful. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> All right. So there's the history lesson. Um, some interesting stuff about Stefano Seglio. So this wine is called Armandier, um, which is like French for like an almond farmer, an almond <laughs> farmer, right? So um, we, we always assume that the, the land maybe used to be almond farms um, or that's, that's sort of what's been going on in that area where it comes from. There's some interesting things about this, uh, about these wines, but uh, I guess we'll start with the white, eh? Since we're mm. tasting that. <laughs> All right. So first time they've had the white in, and uh, for me, one of the most exciting whites in the store, flat out. It's yes. Twenty nine bucks. Am I right? Twenty nine bucks. Okay. So this wine um, is made with the same grape varieties that you see in Chardonnay du Pop. So it's based on Claret Blanc. Um, you've got uh, a little bit of uh, Viognier in there. Yeah. Some guess white that's Grenache. White Grenache. Yeah. So the same grapes you see in white Chardonnay, um, but white Chardonnay is typically going to be 60, 70, 80, 90 bucks a bottle. Um, and as we said, 29 for this guy. And I, and I, it drinks like it. It is it's so, so close to what's going on in those 60 or $70 bottles. It's really, if you like that style, it is, uh, it's unbeatable. This yeah. wine is, I think, an amazing value. Yeah, I love Claret, and it's um, it's a grape that a lot of people don't think about or know about, really. It kind of offers a little more, like, waxiness on the texture. Mm -hmm. It still has some, like, bright lime and apple notes. It's got a little peach. It's got a little floral. It's got a little bit of everything, so it makes it like, really, really interesting, both on the nose and the palate. Yeah, and I think what's uh, what's kind of neat is, in the in the past, we've seen more... Uh, Viognier, Roussan, Marsan, those grape varieties are typical from this area, but with uh, it getting a little warmer down there, they're starting to plant more claret, which holds the acid a little bit better. Mm -hmm. So if your experience with Southern Rhone whites being a little more kind of flabby and soft and like not very, very like focused, that's not this wine. This wine is like really, really fresh, really bright, but it has those exotic flavors kind of like woven into it. And, and for me, it's just, it's a really rare and hard thing to do. And you typically don't see it at this price point. So oh, for sure. <laughs> it's a super interesting, exciting, fun wine to drink. It's not one of those wines where you miss the point. Like there's a lot going on and it's, uh, it's exciting stuff. And, and uh, I think everyone was, was really blown away when, when we first popped a cork on that. For sure. And then the red uh, from him as well is also one of my personal Reason. favorites. Um, off of that Rhone style red as well. Um, it's like a little bit spicier. It has both red and black fruits. Mm -hmm. It's just like, it's again, super, super interesting. Yeah, I think what's interesting for me is the complexity of these wines, right? There's two things that we pay, you know, we pay a lot more for in higher end wines and that's, you know, the complexity, like the amount of kind of different flavors going on. Texture is another big piece and mm -hmm. the texture in these wines is really quite stunning. Um, this is based on Grenache. But the reason this is Van de France, and if you don't know, 
the, the sort of subtlety there. Van de France is kind of like the bottom of the totem pole, right? It can, it, there's no, you know, there's no vintage, there's no laws, they can kind of do anything with Van de France. But the reason it's just in that, you know, that, uh, that level is because they're working with grape varieties that aren't allowed in the area. So yeah. it would normally be a, a Rhone or a Cote de Rhone, um, but this has some Alicante in it, uh, like a touch of Merlot, um, some other grapes that maybe they don't mention yeah. um, because they just kind of put that little trailer on there, some local indigenous varietals. But for me, it really drinks like Grenache, uh, but like you said, a spicier maybe style yeah. of Grenache with, uh, with just something kind of exotic and, and, and subtle going on in here. For sure. It's just got like that spiciness, that little touch of like earthiness too that you don't always find in the same level of just a Rhone Grenache. And I think that's kind of Italian heritage too, of bringing in Alicante and a few things that just like really plays off of what their family came from. And when I taste Grenache, the, the one thing that I'm always looking for is that, that little bit of freshness to kind of bring it together, right? Because again, it's, it's a hot climate in the south. Grenache can be soft and flabby and uninteresting if, it, if it's uh, not grown correctly. And this one has that really like kind of bright, um, sort of laser beam line going through and it kind of holds it all together and brings this really like focused kind of nose to it. And, and for me, both 29 bucks, 28.95, I don't know if there's a sort of a more interesting pair of wines yeah. to pick up. If you, if you like Shad enough, you really got to come try these because they're, uh, they're spectacular. Like, they're going to be really your new favorites in, yeah. in a second. This has got your new house <laughs> wine written all over it. Yeah. Uh, these were real finds. We were, we were excited to find these guys, to get them in. We've been waiting a long time for this white to come in. And I think everyone I've, I've uh, sold this to has come back for more. It's, uh, it's a winner. It's a winner. All day. And but, since um, we're talking about France yeah. and winners, we decided to come out with a French wine pack because French wine is something that we love and love to focus on here. So we came up with your French wine essentials. So hitting all your major regions and some of our favorite producers, really to bring you the best of what France has to offer. So we've got some Loire Valley Sauvignon Blanc. We've got some white Beaujolais to get a little Chardonnay in there that's not nice. breaking the bank, but gives you that little taste of white Burgundy. Yeah. Uh, some Provence Rosé because you just have to have some Provence Rosé. Spring is actually around the corner. It's here. Everything's melting. I'm sure of it. You say so. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Doesn't feel like it. <laughs> Uh, Domaine Girard Pinot, one of the best value Pinots that we have in the store. Under $30, you cannot beat it. Um, again, we're talking Rome, so Costier Denis moving a little farther south, some more bed in there. Again, like spicy, great little steak, wine, barbecue, as you're going to fire that up soon. And then the Belle Colline, because you have to have some Bordeaux if you're going yeah. to France. And in this case, 2016 Bordeaux that I think is just a spectacular buy. Yeah. So. How much is the pack going for? So this is on sale for $152, because some of these nice. are... Uh, fantastic you're going to want to pick it up if you want to taste all that france has to offer well, come in and taste it in store with us here yeah come uh come let us pour you some wine this weekend we got some really great stuff open and there's always a few you know other hidden gems open but uh these are enough to come down for they really are dynamite so hope to see you this weekend thanks for watching